Hello everyone, hope all is well and welcome back. So in today's video I'm going to be showing and talking about all of my favorite brushes that I can't do my makeup without. Tools are so, so important when it comes to makeup. They just help you with everything and a good set of tools is what's gonna set you up for success with a good makeup look. And just as a side note, I did film this look so you'll be seeing it very, very soon because I know I'm gonna be getting questions about that. So before we get into the brushes, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It would mean so much to me and let's get to it. So I'm first gonna start off with my face brushes and the first brush I wanna talk about is my foundation one that I love so much. This is the Royal Langnickel Complexion Brush and you, guys have, and you guys have seen me use this time and time again. I love this one. When I'm applying my foundations, I do prefer to first apply them with a more densely packed brush like this one. And I really like the size of this one as well as the shape. And dense brushes with foundations are awesome because the foundation more likely sits on top of the brush instead of seeping into those bristles. So then you don't waste as much product and it doesn't really get absorbed and all that kind of stuff. But also the shape of this is really nice because it's rounded and it's able to like really buff that in. This one doesn't leave many brush strokes whatsoever and I find that I like the size of it so I can get into the nose and under the eyes if I want to and sometimes I blend my concealer out with this one as well because it's small enough to do so. This one is my favorite foundation brush but I have two alternatives if you are looking for uh, a more densely packed one. This one is the Artiste Oval 7. I do really like this one as well. It's very quick to work in. I just find it to be a little bit big sometimes. I just really prefer working with smaller brushes so I can get in those details and things like that. And another option that I really love is the Anastasia A30 brush. It's a really nice dense brush and has those rounded edges as well. So this one is an amazing alternative, but this one is my absolute favorite. I don't really have a favorite concealer brush. I usually blend it out with a beauty blender or the ColourPop sponge. I really like doing that. So it gets a thin application and it gets a little bit more moisture under there. Or if I don't feel like using my sponge, I'll use that Royal Langnickel brush that I just talked about. And now moving into powder. This powder brush comes in the same set as this one, so that's really great. This is my favorite powder brush because it is densely packed as well, but I really like the shape of it because it is tapered, so it comes to a pretty good point, and I like that to really get into the under eye and things like that and those details of the face that most powder brushes kind of miss, in my opinion. It fits really nicely on the cheek itself, and it just gets all the curves of your face uh, very quickly. And yeah, that one's my favorite powder brush. For bronzer, I've recently fell in love with this one. This is the Noblesh Cheek Shaper. I really love this brush because it also has a tapered end, just like the last powder brush. It works great with cream or powder because it is quite fluffy, but it is densely packed as well, so it really allows that product to not get seeped in here and waste a lot of product. But the thing I like the most about this is that the tapered end can get can, you can use it for a good contour, and then you can also tilt it, tilt it on its side for like a more wide blended bronzer. It just caresses your face in such an amazing way, such an amazing way. I just really love this brush. Moving on to highlighting brush. This is another one by Nabla, and this is their highlighter brush. I really love this one as well. It's nice and fluffy, and it's not too stiff. What I like to do with this, I first lay the highlighter on powder or cream, and then once it's laid on, then I'll do circular motions just to buff it into the cheekbone and give more of a rounded look. And I really like this because it's so easy to work with. It doesn't make your highlighters patchy, nor does it ever leave like a really straight streak of highlight where it's really detectable to the eye. This just allows you to really buff it into the skin and make it look very polished and editorial. I really love the size as well. It's quite small, so you can really get it onto all the details of your face as well where you want some highlight. And yeah, this has been my most favorite highlighting brush that I have ever used. Then for blush, I have one for more cream products and one for more powder. I really love this Nude Sticks Blend and Buff. This is meant to be for their tinted cover and their concealer. I like to blend out stick blushes with this because it just really keeps the pigmentation right where you want it and it doesn't lift up anything underneath. I really like the size of the brush too. It's nice and fluffy and soft so it doesn't really 
swirl up anything else as well. And then this one is from BH Cosmetics. It's the number three brush. I really like the angle of this one because you are able to really get a precise blush application, but it's really nice and fluffy, so it'd be nice, nicely diffused and almost and almost airbrush looking. And also with this one, I really like to do this kind of a motion, like you're pressing that blush into the skin, so then it looks like it's coming from within. These have been my two favorite blush brushes as of yet. That is all for my face brushes. I could get rid of all my other face brushes and just have these and I'd be set. These ones are really, really great. Now getting into the eye brushes, and I do have a lot here. I like really getting those details in my eye looks, and these are all the ones I need to create anything I would ever want. So I do have quite a few Smith brushes in here, and honestly, they are my favorite eye brushes I've ever invested in. I did receive some in PR. When I first was seriously getting into makeup, I invested in one Smith 232, one Smith 230, and a Smith 205. And that elevated my eyeshadow game so much. I couldn't believe how easy eyeshadow was with, with these brushes. Now I'm just going to go through them one by one and tell you why I love them. This is a Smith 232. You see me start almost every eye look with this brush. And the reason I love this brush is because it's quite big and it just allows you to get the most diffuse transition shade ever. It almost makes it look airbrushed and it's very, very easy to use if you go in lightly. A good diffuse transition shade is so important because that's the first thing you notice if it's unblended, then you think the eye look is bad. But when it, your transition shade is well blended, it looks so flawless and airbrushed and beautiful. And this helps, and this helps achieve that so quickly. So I love this brush. This one it would be, this would be one of them that I would recommend to you the most is this brush as well as the one I'm talking next, which is the Smith 230. And it is just a smaller size of the 232. It works identical to this one. It just allows you to get a really smooth blend. And this just allows to, you to get a little bit more detail in your looks. And a tip for you if you if you have these and you find them to get getting a little scratchy, I would recommend you picking up Dr. Bronner's uh, bar of soap, the blue one. Since these are natural hairs, you want to treat it like your own hair on your head. You wouldn't just wash your hair with Cinema Secrets or uh, dish soap or anything like that. You want to condition them and things like that, treat them really nice, and that Dr. Bronner soap has really nice oils in there that will hydrate the bristles and just keep them nice and soft and not prickly. And that goes for a majority of brushes. I wash all of my brushes with that and it just keeps them nice and healthy and they don't ever break. You want to treat your tools like gold because they are what help you achieve that and I know it's really not fun to buy brushes. It's really not but it helps your game so so much. Next one I'm going to be talking about is a Smith 253. This is such a versatile brush. I love this one so much. I mostly go into this one for packing so if I'm packing a color on the lid I'll just really concentrate that on there and it just allows you to lay down a lot of product with minimal fallout, which is ideal. And then also you can flip it on its side and get into those details. I really like doing my lower lash line with this brush because it has that really nice pointed tip that you can get a really thin application. Next I want to talk about another blending brush. I love blending brushes. They bring me so much joy. I don't know what it is about a good blending brush. It just makes life easier. Anyways, this is an Anastasia 825 and this is such a great one. I really like its rounded edge here. This one does an amazing job at diffusing your eyeshadows. There's nothing much more to it. It's just a really great blending brush and I really, really love it. And then I have another blending brush, but this one's super, super tiny. I love this one to really get some details into the crease work and get it nice and blended. This is a Nabla pointed crease brush and it is so good. I love this thing. I've had this thing for like about two months and I love this thing so much. It's such great quality, there's no shedding at all. And it's really rare to find a good small blending brush in my opinion. I haven't found hardly any. Next I'm gonna get into my smaller detailing brushes and I love detail brushes. They just allow you to get so much precision and just add so much more to your looks. I have a few here. Let's start with eyeliner brushes. My favorite eyeliner brush is a Smith 205. They do have another option. This is the Smith 203, just if you're curious. I prefer the 205 because I like to have more of a thick wing. I like the longer bristles so I can really get a nice flick, a nice even flick, and it doesn't drag on the eyelid or anything like that. 
This brush is awesome because it never really frays. You have to really, you have to treat this one like gold as well. When you wash it, you want to go back and forth, not little circles or anything like that or else you'll make them frayed and your eyeliner brush will suck. <laughs> but this is a versatile brush because you can also use it for your eyebrows if you if you use an angled brush for that, if you use like dip brow or powders or anything like that. And then for small details on the outer corner and things like that, I really love these two brushes here. This one is from Sonia Kashuk and I've used this one so much that the label smudged off. Um, I have no idea what it is, but it's nice and small and it's quite stiff but still fluffy on the on the tip of the brush so you're able to get a blended edge but still concentrate that shadow where you want it. This one's a really great one to smoke out uh, eyeliner if you want more of a smoked out lower lash line or things like that. It's really, really great. This one, it might annoy you, a few of you. I use this one all the time. This is from a Dose of Colors 5 color palette. Both sides are super versatile in my looks. I use this thing all the time. I love this one because it's fluffy on the tip. It has like a dual, it has a dual fiber thing and the top is really, really soft, but it's so Thin, and it's really nice to get on the outer corner or on the lower lash line. Then for more eyeliner, I like this Anastasia A28 brush. This one I use in a few different ways. If I'm doing fake freckles, I'll use this brush. And if I am doing my eyeliner, I like to have a really thin line. I like a thicker flick and like a really thin line on the rest of my lashes because I kind of have round eyes and if I bring it all the way in thick, it just really makes my eyes look even more round. I like the length of the bristles on here because it allows you to just flow that eyeliner on. I don't know, it's really easy to use and I just, I love this brush for so many reasons. I have a really weird brush. This is a Tweezerman line glider. This is the weirdest brush. When I received this, I was like, what the heck is that? But it has like a really weird shape to it. But this is really great if you do like those cut crease looks or like if you half cut the crease and things and you want to darken the fake eyelid. This is such a great one to glide that around and it blends it at the same time as defining it and I've just loved this brush for those kind of looks. It's really random, <laughs> I just, I don't know, it's a great one. And then lastly, this is my Anastasia 20 brush. You don't have to get this one identical, there's so many different ones, but this is just the one I have personally. This is the one I use when I want to clean up my liner. So I'll just take a little concealer and just go back and forth on my hand like this, and then I'll just drag it on the base of my liner and on top if I made like if my eyeliner kind of skipped and made uneven edges, this just allows you to clean it up so nicely. And that's the only reason why I love this brush so much is to clean up my eyeliner. But yeah, these are all my brushes. I would not be able to do my makeup without. I love these ones so, so much. And if some of them aren't available anymore, I'll try to find dupes in the near future. I don't want to link something I don't really know the quality of or the longevity of, but all of these ones are really, really high quality. BH Cosmetics has great brushes. I've had so many of them in my collection and none of them have ever shedded or fell apart on me, which is so good because they are very affordable. But anyways, those are all the brushes I love very, very much and you see me use all the time. I really hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please give it a like. It would help me out so much. I'll try to link all of these brushes in the description down below. And before I go, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!